All right, hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here, and welcome back to the channel. I was not expecting this one today, guys, but we got a brand new bundle here, the first of the Gundam collaboration. This is the Tracer Pack Mobile Suit MS06S Zaku 2 Bundle. And fair warning, I'm probably going to say this for all the Gundam videos so everybody is aware. I have never, I know what they are. I understand, I know what Gundam is, but I've actually never watched or read any of the comics or watched any of the anime or anything like that. Um, so just l letting you know. So it says here, for the information, it says, step into the role of a formidable Xeon soldier and prove your worth as an elite as, as an elite mobile suit pilot. This bundle features three blueprints with Zaku tracers and mobile suit malfunction dismemberment. Equip the operator skin during the Mobile Suit Gundam Legends event from June 5th to June 19th for bonus XP per match. All right, this is a jam-packed bundle, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. First up, we got an operator skin here for swag. It's called MS06S Zaku 2. It says here, blaze into battle as the legendary Red Comet uh, with this operator skin. All right, and here you go, man. This is a big fella here, and I don't know why he needs a scarf. <laughs> but there you go. He's actually wearing a scarf. This is full 360 for you guys. Not too bad. We get a blueprint here for the AMR9. It's called Zaku Machine Gun. It says unleash unrelenting 120 millimeter barrages uh, with this Zaku inspired blueprint featuring bullet velocity, gun kick control, and damage control. There is a preview of the tracers for those of you wondering. There you go. We'll test everything out in game. Look at that dismemberment. Um, and here's a full 360 on this blueprint for the AMR9. There you go. Not too bad. If you guys are wondering about the build, there it is. There is the build. There's the setup. All right. Moving along here, guys. We get a blueprint for the longbow sniper it's called warship destroyer it says lay siege uh from long range with the zaku inspired blueprint featuring 3.7 times magnification sprint to, uh, sprint speed uh and aim walking speed all right here's a preview once again for the tracers and the dismemberment i can't wait to see this in game Here's a preview of the tracers and the dismemberment can't wait to see that in game here's a full 360 on this longbow blueprint all right, not too bad. Looks pretty good. Uh, and here is the build for those of you wondering about the setup. There you go. Alongside that here, guys, we got a pickaxe blueprint. It's called Heat Hawk, and it says cut through enemies for uh, cut through enemy forces with this devastating Heat Hawk inspired blueprint. And the cool thing about this, it seems that it does have the effects as well. Nice. Uh, that's awesome. That's great. Very cool. Here you go. Here's a full 360 on this uh, blueprint for the uh, pickaxe. There you go. All right, alongside that here, guys, we get the searing slash. This is a finishing move, and it would look like this. All right, if you catch the opponent standing, here's the finishing move. We have taken the lead. Don't play games. You can't win. Nice. All right, and if you catch the opponent prone on the floor, here's the finishing move. Damn. Outclassed and outmatched. Nice. All right, and if you down the opponent, it would look like this. All right. And then here's the finishing move. Don't play games, you can't win. Nice. That's the best one. That's great. And we got a couple more items here. We got a calling card called Charles Laugh. Uh, we got an emblem called Charles Enable. Uh, we got a loading screen called Charles Kick. We got a weapon sticker that says, I came here to laugh at you. Uh, we got a weapon charm called Heat Hawk. We got a, an, another weapon charm called Zaku Head, Red Comet. Uh, we got a large decal called Charles Charles's uh, Emblem. Uh, we got a weapon sticker called This Is No Zaku. Uh, we got a loading screen it's called Xeon On Duty. And that's it. That's everything, man. That's a lot of items there for 2400 cop points. That's pretty good. Really nice bundle here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's cop this up. Let's bring this out. It's a cap. And I'm looking forward to seeing the others as well. I mean, if this one is this good, I'm hoping the others are going to be great too. All right, let's take a look at the weapon inspect for all the items here. First up with the... Whoa, very nice. First up here for the pickaxe blueprint. Here's a weapon inspect for it. That's a great audio effect. Nice animation. Look at that. Uh, very nice. And I think this has like a sound too. Oh. Very nice. Here's an inspect for the AMR9. Very nice looking blueprint. First person view. All right. Not too bad. And here is the longbow as well. Here's a weapon inspect for that one as well. Nice. Nice shine. Nice little polish to it. Very good. All right. Testing out the tracers here. Let's see how these look. Okay, nice muzzle flash, nice audio effect as well. Decent tracers. All right, test this out real quick. Here we go with the uh, AMR9, nice ADS. There's a bit of a vertical kick to it. 
They're both pretty good, pretty easy to manage and control. That's not bad. Uh, here is the uh, longbow blueprint. I mean, looks like it has the Car 98's uh, scope on it with the triangle. Uh, let's see here. Oh. I mean, if that's if that's getting hit markers with no plates, I could just only I could only imagine with like three plates on. But I mean, it looks like you could kind of kind of quick scope with it. Not too bad. I mean, if you're if you're a good sniper, I'm sure it's not a problem for you. All right, you get one shot headshot apparently. And uh, oops, I missed. That's me. That's me. Uh, yeah, one shot headshot. I, I suck at sniping. All right, in case you guys are wondering, here is the blueprint for the AMR9 with all of the attachments removed. There you go. That's how it would look. All right, testing to see if the tracer still work with all of the attachments removed. Nope. Okay, here's the longbow with all of the attachments removed. If you guys are wondering about this blueprint here, there you go. And testing to see if the tracers are still working here. Yeah, they do. All right, next up here, guys, taking a look at some of the camos and how they would affect the blueprint. So here you go. This is for the AMR9, just to give you an idea here. There you go. Okay, here's some of the zombie ones. Okay. All right, there's that. That's the uh, weapon prestige camos. All right. And lastly, I know you guys like to see this last one here, so I'll show you the Rotten Inferno one. Uh, there it is. There you go. All right, next up here, guys, for the longbow, here's some of the camos on this one, just to show you what it would cover on the blueprint, how it would look. Ah, interesting. Uh, not bad. Here's some of the zombie ones. There you go. All right. Here's the weapon prestige camos. There's that one. No, not too bad. All right. And lastly, here's the uh, Rotten Inferno. There you go. All right. And lastly, here's the uh, camos on this blueprint here. I'm sorry, the uh, melee blueprint. There you go. The pickaxe. All right. Not too bad. Some of the zombie ones there. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. Here's the prestige camos. Okay. And here's some of these camos as well, just to kind of give you an idea. All right. There you go. Oh, and by the way, look at this effect. This is something that it's it's a little difficult to see, but here, let me see. See, like, there's like a dragging light effect on the, um, on the melee weapon. Barely see it, but it's there. All right, you guys jumped into a custom third person view here just to show you the third person uh, perspective. Also, some of the other effects as well. So let's take a look here. So here's the uh, <laughs> look at this thing, bro. Oh, my God. All right. Damn, that death, that that uh, dismemberment or death effect is, is really cool. Look at that. Very nice. And that's with the AMR. You know, let me see if I get a quick scope here or something. Oh. oh, quick that one. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the pickaxe as well. I gotta die here. Switch it. Switch it up. Oh. That's really cool, man. I don't forget. Damn. That is such a great effect. Awesome. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, this is definitely one of the bundles that I recommend you guys get. Uh, if you're inter if you're interested in this stuff and if you're into the effects and everything, I think this is definitely worth the uh the 2400 cod points this is really good stuff really good content really cool operator skin great effects good blueprints um you know a lot of different little add-ons that you can put on your weapons and stuff stickers weapon charms emblems calling cards and all that stuff so overall pretty good and uh 2400 cod points that's not bad hope this video was informative and helpful helps you guys make a decision on whether or not you guys want to get this for yourselves and uh let's get a little bit of gameplay and then we'll wrap up Would you spawn me there? <laughs> I was trying to switch guns. Switch up, switch up. Okay. 
Oh, how did that miss? Play it, brother. <laughs> All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have, man, a little bit of gameplay. Let me know if you guys are going to cop this one up for yourselves. I think it's a pretty decent bundle. Not bad, not bad stuff. And let me know if you guys watched Gundam. I mean, I'm familiar with what it is. Uh, like, I'm familiar with the name Gundam, but I never watched anything Gundam or read anything Gundam. Let me know if you guys were into this stuff, man. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are brand new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and drop a like on today's video. It would really help out. Any feedback, comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments section below. If you guys are thinking about getting any Control Freak products, you can always check out their website. Link in the description below. You can use code GRAY at checkout for, I believe at the moment, it's either a 10 or a 15% discount off your order. Go check them out. Link in the description. If you guys are thinking about getting anything from G Fuel, go check out their website. Link in the description below. You can use code YTGRAY at checkout for, I believe at the moment, it's either a 20 or a 25% discount off your order. Go check them out. And if you guys are thinking about getting a new controller for PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, Highly recommend checking out AIM controllers. Link in the description below. You can use code GRAY at checkout or just click on the link in the description below and the discount should apply automatically. Uh, make sure to give us a follow outside of YouTube on our social media platform, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Links to everything in the description below, man. I'm going to call it there for me today, you guys. We got a lot more content coming up, so stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next one, my name is GRAY. Peace.